What's up my fellow crabs, this is uh, Soul here and Cancer, this is going to be your bi-weekly uh, messages beginning December 31st, 2018 and ending January 13, 2019. Yes, um, the videos I posted yesterday, I mentioned it was the 30th, but it's the actual start of the 31st. Um, but you know, I'm off by a day or so, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, cancer, I hope all is well. I hope everyone has had a wonderful, uh, relaxing, beautiful Christmas. And I want to thank everyone for the uh, warm, uh, Christmas wishes, uh, sent my way. Yes. I had a good uh, Christmas with my, f uh, family members and friends. Okay. So new energy, new year. I want to wish you all a very happy uh, 2019, prosperous. May it be, you know, prosperous and healthy, happy for you as well. You know, you got to make it count, Cancer. You know, you can't just sit there and wait for the year to turn around and things are going to come your way. You have to be um, instrumental in, uh, you know, being a, a great motivator for yourself and the things that you want to manifest and bring into your life. OK, no one is going to do that for you. Yes, there is always that help and that guidance um, that we seek um, from others sometimes, but it's only up to us and what we want and what we want to um, have and, you know, coming into our lives, plain and simple. All right, so new year, new deck I'm using. I'm using the Marchetti Tarot. It's a personalized deck from Ciro Marchetti. Very... Um, Colorful, deep, rich in colors, and I like that. I have my own, well, I have my own uh, autographed carrying bag. And there's a signature card. I must have put it back into the deck. Uh, just to show you. With my name on it and symbol of the crab, Cancer. All right, so yes. Let's see what's going on for us uh, in the next two weeks. It's a possible uh, precursor of energies for 2019. One thing that I'm getting off the bat, and I always say whenever I'm doing a reading for any particular sign, I like to see the elements show up. That way it gives me a, you know, not necessarily proof of certain messages that I'm about to speak about, but it does validate a little bit that I'm on the right track in terms of whatever the messages may um, pertain to okay so but we have a lot of cups here representing our energy but the one thing that stuck out uh, instantly when I uh, turned over all the cards and I looked and I said oh okay why is the queen of cups here and she's in the reverse and then underneath the queen of cups is the ten of cups in the reverse so let me just give you a quick take on this uh, and what I feel that could be um, Something that is, you know, potentially occurring or unfolding. I feel that this is what we want to, you know, remove ourselves from, you know, the emotional. And, and keep in mind that these cups here always represent uh, not only children, but relationships of all types, you know. And this is a general reading. So this could be a love relationship. This could be a relationship with your uh, family members. It could be, you know, in association with your uh, co-workers but I just wanted to highlight that this queen of cups and I'll show you is in the reverse position and this is what she looks like in the upright position okay so normally the queen of cups when it shows up or the king um, because the queen of course is the mother of all love she's all giving she's all caring and she cares about the people who are surrounded uh, by her she gives off positive vibes and good emotions so this may represent an actual person since it is the king, I mean the queen, and it could also represent male energies too. But I'm feeling that because it is underneath the ten of cups, um, and, the, and the ten of cups is in the reverse position, I just want to say that I feel that this could be uh, for some of us who are like really wanting to, uh, you know, put an end to 2018 and all the problems that we've had emotionally with our relationships with others okay and however that uh energy uh applies to you this is what's coming out so it could you know the queen representing an, you know an actual person that could be you somebody here um 
is not happy about their particular life okay or you know something that's going on in their family or their love relationships friendships and like i said relationships of all kinds children but because they're showing up here and it's like okay this reading is uh time stamp for the start of the 31st and we enter into the new year on january 1st it may be that this is you know a culmination of us wanting to um be done with all of the emotional stuff that we had to deal with in 2018 okay so i hope that makes sense uh for you because i don't want you to you know to be in despair because i feel personally that this is good energy here uh the other cups that we have are the um page of cups and this is showing up in the uh, reverse position so but this is the energy for um the two week period of time so the page of cups even though it's showing up in the uh, reverse position is still a good card uh in the upright position it's the start of something new this could be a new job this could be a new relationship this could be a birth of a child but the only thing you know, with this uh, page of cups that's showing up in the reverse is that things are still forthcoming in a positive way, but there's going to be a delay. OK, so isn't it interesting that the delay could be like, you know, the whole thing that I just pushed here about 2018, um, you know, wanting 2018 to come to an end and then something new comes in because that page is an offer of something new and then we also have the ace of cups and the ace of cups is showing up here in reverse as well so it only validates to me that you know we are waiting for new things uh in 2019 to uh, occur or happen for us in our life now this ace of cups could represent you know all forms of relationships i just wanted to show you this in the upright position but it failed this is the Ace of Cups in the upright positions. It's in the reverse. And remember, the Aces are always, you know, something uh, about to start or something uh, beginning. It could be a new adventure. You know, the Cups in itself represent uh, all types of relationships. That could be love. That could be a new job. That could be a birth of, a, you know, a child uh, indicated by the page of uh, Cups that is showing up here for the overall energy. So I feel... Uh, in all honesty, even though we have the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Now, it would have been so auspicious if the Ten of Cups was in the upright position and the Queen of Cups was in the upright position. Then I would say, OK, we're going to open up 2019, um, you know, with a bang in terms of, you know, having our emotions in check and everything. But I just felt that, you know, there might be one or two uh, crabs who come to the uh, channel and listen to this video that this may be all that it is that, you know, we are waiting to end 2018 and get rid of all that emotional shit that we had dealt with and get a fresh start. The fresh start is indicated by the page of cups, ace of cups. But like I said before, the reversals is that it's just a delay. OK, and keep in mind, this is the start of. Uh, the reading starts on the 31st. So who's to say that on the first that these energies do not flip around? The other cup that shows up here that's interesting and it is in the upright position is the two of cups. So then again, it's about partnerships. It's about uh, being on the same page. It's about, you know, possibly the formation of a new love. See the delay of the page. And the ace and if you were going to uh chrono you know chronologically look at this reading here this could represent the first week this could represent the second week and because these cups are in the reverse in the first week per se then the two of cups shows up in the second week and it's in the upright position so whatever situation that could be occurring or may be going on with you um things may turn around after the new year when it comes to your relationships okay i like the two of cups and of course the cups represent not only our energies but the energies of scorpio and uh pisces male or female okay so other than the uh queen and uh queen of cups and ten of cups combination here the five of wands comes after the page of cups but it's over top of the two of cups so there could be a little bit of friction with a cancer or two that i'm um, reading for who may be dealing with an energy of a fire sign a true fire sign aries leo sagittarius male or female 
because this is your reading this is energy more or less that could be uh directed your way coming from them all right so but the five of wands is just pure minor energy do not get yourself or allow yourself to get caught up in their energy something's going on with them okay they want to pick a fight they want to pick an argument but you know as soon as they um you know attempt to make those energies um you know you you know bring it your way it fizzles out okay now it may not be a true fire sign it could be any uh person that you're dealing with in terms of you know a relationship since the two of cups represents all relationships so that could be family that could be you know a friend that could be a romantic partner uh whatever that relationship um you know whatever relationship represents or means for you this is what i'm, I'm bringing uh, forth okay so i wanted to get that out of the way now since I've already talked about the page of cups being the overall energy, there's something good that's on the way, the start of something new. The ace of uh, cups represents, um, it gives me the validation of the page of cups. Queen of cups could be just someone who is not happy about their current situation, uh, feeling emotional, you know, sadness. And it could be just another message I'm going to throw in here it could be that um, something is going on with a family situation. Okay. Now, I wouldn't necessarily extend it to like a crisis, but it could be, you know, that someone deals with a family crisis or a family uh, situation that, you know, crops up that needs to be, um, you know, handled or dealt with. All right. So that could be a message there for somebody coming after the Queen of Cups. Now we have to see we have another ace and I just realized that we have the ace of coins. So somebody is about to start a new job at the turn of the year. This is the Ace of Pentacles. It's in the upright position. And I said there was something uh, in terms of, you know, um, possibly just for the, the calendar year to turn over for these good tides to start happening or, you know, occurring for us, Cancer. And this is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new job. Maybe this is the start of um, someone's contemplating on, uh, you know, doing their own thing in terms of their own business. This could also indicate, you know, an increase in pay. Pay raises, pay, you know, bonuses. Uh, it could uh, also actually represent a promotion. And maybe this promotion, uh, someone's getting promotion to, a, you know, promoted to a higher position and it won't start until after the first of the year. So that's uh, good energy. All right. Two of Cups, like I said before, is the, you know, romantic chemistry. It could be a development of a new romance, friendship. It's just, you know, being on the same page, seeing eye to eye. And I like how he did this, too. <laughs> OK, two cups and then there's two eyes there. So seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page and then, you know, relationships in general are harmonious for you. OK, this is, you know, going out to dates because the cups represent uh social um outings for me so this could be you know two people uh going out on a date or there could be a first date or this could be uh meeting up for the very first time and it could be a friendship it could be a romantic link however this two of cups energies opens up for you uh this is what's coming out then we have the seven of wands seven of wands is you know not too much to worry about because it's just energy uh, and I always pick up, <clears throat> it's not always about battles and struggles or having to be uh, defensive and uh, protecting your turf or uh, your position or anything. And, that's, and it doesn't necessarily have to relate to, you know, romantic relationships. This is just energy that I feel that, you know, there's um, things that you have to take care of. Uh, it could be, you know, part of multitasking, many things on your plate, cancer, but you're going to have the energy to take care of it. And that could be, you know, taking care of family members or doing stuff for family members, doing stuff for your uh, romantic partnership. But all is well. It's just energy. OK. And I equate, you know, even though the five of wands is here and it's just something that may start up, something that may have started uh, because it is in the past position. Um, you know, prior to this reading and then all of a sudden it fizzled, you know, fizzled out. All right. Same thing with the seven of wands, whatever it is that you have to tackle, because I see those extra wands being, you know, you know, people that you may have to deal with or, you know, many tasks that you have, excuse me, many tasks that you have to take care of during this two week period of time. The seven of wands says you're going to have the energy to take care of that. Now, the ten of cups, if I was just going to give 
a separate message in t instead of you know tied to the link of the queen it's still something going on with the family that's creating a, an emotional imbalance for you okay that could be still the you know a child of cancer or it could be uh if it is it could be a true cancer uh a true child that is a cancer i'm sorry um but it you know represents children of all uh, zodiac signs so it could be you know that in terms of what I'm interpreting and what I'm picking up. But I just feel that, I, you know, for the most part, to be honest with you, we're waiting. It's a waiting. And, and the waiting comes in from the Page of Cups in the reverse, Ace of Cups in the reverse, as a delay, as we are trying to or wanting to uh, basically put an end to, uh, some of us may have suffered a, a very, you know, um, is the word tumultuous? I guess, in terms of a very, you know, hectic, emotional uh, 2018, and you just want to have a change of energy. So this could be the completion of that as the year turns over. Okay, Cancer, that's what I have for you. Very beautiful reading. So, uh, and like I said in the previous videos, I'm not doing the uh, Rebel uh, cards uh, for the bi-weeklies anymore. I'm just going to keep them... Um, you know, solely for the general love readings, but I am using the uh, still using the magical times empowerment cards uh, to complement your reading. And the card that I have selected for us, Cancer, is action. Okay, and it says here it says stop hesitating. Uh, movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back. So I like that message as we bring in the new year um, with these temporary energies of delays that you're wanting to start something and, and, you know, manifest and bring those energies in, those positive energies in that you want to have in your life, whether it be for, you know, uh, a new partnership, romantic partnership, a new job. You know, it could be a child. You know, someone may be thinking about um, for the very first time uh, having a baby or something. Something is I'm just giving examples, okay? I don't want to draw, <laughs> drag this out or draw it out. But uh, that's what I'm picking up here, Cancer. But I feel that the um, next two weeks should be very, very positive for us, okay? So will we see? We will see. I think my thought processes are getting a little bit ahead of my mouth. Okay, we will see Cancer. And then I'm looking at my phone, too. I'm, people are calling and texting me at the same time. Anyway, Cancer, uh, please be safe. Always emphasizing that safety for you and uh, sending you quite a bit of love and light and good vibes for you for 2019. Happy New Year once again. Talk to you later, Cancer. Bye.